I should start doing cardio outside more. Well, there'll be soon be time when you can. So there's 160 it? something stairs. And I'm gonna sprint them four or five times, depends how it goes. I just did legs, so it might go poorly. But we'll see. Here we go. Harder than I thought. <laughs> That's one. That's one. Could help him. That'd be good exercise. I made this YouTube video as a day in the life of a bikini competitor because every day is the same so this will just cover and show you guys what I do on a day to day basis. Bikini prep is very repetitive and you have to be consistent so this is what I do every day. But today I have a lot of time to make this video because I didn't work today and today was one of the first days I worked in about six or seven days. So I usually do the exact same thing every day even on the days I work I usually have eight to ten hour shifts. So. I didn't really videotape what I was eating today because I slept in a little bit, which is new for me actually. I slept in a little bit, so I got up and I was ravenously hungry, so I ate my breakfast and I ate my second meal without videotaping it because I was also very hungry then too. I suck at videotaping my food because I make it and I'm so excited to eat it. I either forget or I don't care enough at the time to videotape, so I'm sorry I'll get better at that. We'll show you what I'm eating for supper. I have mushrooms here. I'm going to make mushrooms and chicken. I need about 5 ounces of chicken and 100 grams of mushrooms, so that's what my supper is going to be. I had cream of wheat for breakfast and uh, 2 tablespoons of peanut butter, which I fit in and I love it. And then my second meal was 3 ounces of ground beef and 114 grams of little potatoes. That's a pretty exact number, but it fit into my macros. My last meal will be protein ice cream. I'm going to put the recipe for protein ice cream in this uh, YouTube video actually. It's an amazing recipe, satisfying, filling, craving crusher recipe. I got it from El Chaplo, a bikini athlete I follow her. It was on her YouTube so I'm not taking credit for the recipe. I just simply love it and I need to show you guys so you guys can use it. I think with my portions and measurements of things it came out to about 165 calories. I don't really remember but I will figure it out and put the recipe and the macros in the description box so you guys can have a lot of information. It's an amazing recipe. It actually tastes really good. I was kind of skeptical. I was like, is it going to be like one of these things where it just tastes like protein powder or it doesn't taste real, but the consistency and the taste actually tastes like, I guess I could compare it to like a Wendy's Frosty. That's what it tastes like. It tastes amazing. Anyway. I'm going to put that in the video so you guys can use it if you want, and if not, you can just watch me enjoy this bowl of ice cream. It's like a pound bowl, but anyway, it was a bit more difficult. This week was harder for sure, um, but I'll talk about that later, and I'll make supper first. I'll make chicken and show you guys my supper. I usually season my chicken with Flavor God, 
Courtney left hers here, so I'm going to steal it and use it. But Chipotle Flavor God's really good. I haven't tried many of them, but I really do like them. They're low sodium, low like no calories, low sodium seasoning. So it's really good for really anything, especially if you're trying to conserve calories and you don't really want to use sauces or heavy seasonings to flavor your stuff. Uh, Flavor God's really good. I get this stuff at Herx, just like I get everything else I use. Um, so that's that. Hi, Mom. What? What's your hand here with me? Why would I put my hand there? Two? No, I've already washed one. What? <laughs> Can you open it? I can't open it with my nails. <laughs> Brett, what are you drinking? You're not an alcoholic beer. I wish this, I could say. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> You're drunk, go home. <laughs> I told Brad. Mm. This mm. Go do something there. So, a couple things. I apologize because I didn't get vlogs out. I've been struggling with vlogging. One, because I've been really busy lately, um, getting a new job, uh, studying. I've really amped up studying because I have a date on my test now. Also, my phone has no more space on it, so I couldn't actually take videos. But news, I got an actual vlogging camera. Much better quality, much better sound, so my videos will be better. So in my last vlog, I talked about how prep was going really, really well. In my last video to this video, it's a bit of a difference. I definitely, I'm three weeks, four weeks into this prep. I'm getting the prep feels is what we're going to call it. I'm starting to feel, feel the effects of being in a deficit, which sucks a lot. But, uh, I'm pushing through it. It's not that bad. It's just like me being a little, it's me being a little extra tired. Oh, another thing, I started a new job, which I love my new job. The downside to this job is it's in an ice cream store. <laughs> Why I do that to myself? My boss makes amazing homemade burgers and onion rings and poutines and ice cream and twisters and blizzards and milkshakes and whoo candy, all of the above. But um, so that's the downside to my new job is it is kind of a mental struggle to go there every day and bring my packed lunch and not have spoonfuls of ice cream and like not have onion rings every day but I'm mentally in this prep more than ever I need to focus on my own shit uh, I want to make this prep series as raw and real as possible and I want everyone to know what being in a prep is actually like and how it feels and it last week was amazing but it was like the first couple weeks I was on prep and obviously you still feel good because your body hasn't totally realized that you're not eating enough food or your body hasn't totally realized what you're doing yet and this week was a little harder and I just want everyone to know that. I don't know, I, I think a lot of people think that I'm different. This is funny, lots of people come up to me and they're like, how do you do that? Like, I love food too much. You must not love food that much. I'm like, are you kidding me like you don't think I love food you think I do this because I hate food and I don't mind not eating it are you joking it makes me mad <laughs> people think I'm always like motivated which is so false I'm honestly I'm very motivated and driven and I am constantly I just have a I've built myself up and literally trained my mind to be focused on my goal focused on what I want and I and I work until I get it with most things, not like things like, not like doing dishes and like shit like that, but like I work hard and I know I do, I'm a hard worker, but with that being said, I think a lot of people think I don't wake up sometimes and just like not today, like I don't feel like I feel better after and I know I'm going to, but it does take a lot for me to work out some days, some days I'm like I need some motivation today because it's not here. I just want this series to be raw and real so people realize that anybody can
put in work. Everybody has the discipline, the motivation, and the goal to do it. They just need to find all those things. They need to look within themselves, do some intrapersonal reflection, and find those things. Because they're there, you just have to look. I want you all to know that even though I did have a good week, or a good couple weeks last week, that this week wasn't ideal. I didn't feel that good this week. I was tired. I still am kind of tired. So, work hard today, guys. See you in the next clip. Or the Yes, put away the leathers and put ice on the gold. Chili with enough bell money to free a big willy. High stakes, I got more at stake than Philly. Shopping sprees, copping three. Deuce fever, I yes, is fully loaded. Ah, <laughs> yes. Bouncing in the Lex Luger. Tire smoke like Buddha. 50 G's to the crap shooter. Niggas can't fade me. Chrome stocks beaming. Through my peripheral, I see you scheming. Stop dreaming, I leave your body steaming. Niggas is fiending, what's the meaning? I'm leaning on any nigga intervening with the sound of my money machining. My cup runneth over with hundreds. I'm one of the best niggas that done it. Six digits and running. Y'all niggas don't want it. I got the Godfather flow to Don Juan DeMarco. Swear to God, don't get it fucked up. In the south, kicking up top game, bouncing on the highway, switching four lanes, screaming through the sunroof. Money ain't a thing. Your worst fear confirmed. Me and my fam roll tight like the firm. Getting down for life, strat. You better learn why I play with fire. You burn. We get together like a choir to acquire what we desire. We do dirt like worms, produce G's like sperm to legs spread like.